there is something I want to talk about that has been bothering me, child. Okay, like, <laughs> just bothering me. Just in general, I feel like we don't let Billie Eilish live. I, I think that in general. I think that in general, we do not let Miss Billie have her cake and eat it too. Like, we do not let her live, stop analyzing her clothes, stop analyzing what her sexuality is, stop analyzing her body. Leave the girl alone. That's how I feel. And then we've already, I feel like mainstream society has discussed, like, kind of, sort of, like, leave Billy alone. I feel like they've kind of discussed, like, stop overanalyzing her looks and her demeanor and her this and her that. Like, stop overanalyzing her. I feel like they've kind of talked about that a little bit. A little bit, okay? I think feel like that's touched on what hasn't been touched on. And I wanted to talk about this for a while because it kind of started going viral. Was it, whole, was it all the way last year? Was it earlier this year? I don't remember. But people say that Phineas, her brother, has like a weird thing for Billy. And like, I'm like, why? Because you're saying this about Phineas and you're trying to drag Phineas. That's her blood. That's her brother. They're so close. When you're dragging him, you're dragging her. You're hurting her feelings. So if you're a Billy fan, you shouldn't be participating in this, first of all. Okay? So second of all, if you're not a Billy fan, leave her alone. This is backdoor. This is like backdoor criticism, Billy. This is like backdoor. You're trying to get at her. You know what I mean? Like, because if you're not talking about her, you think you can get away with it. No, not on my watch. Leave Billy alone. Like, I'm not even that big of a Billy fan. Like, I think that she's a good artist, but like, she whispers a little bit too much for me. That's just my preference. But I feel like, leave her alone, though. But let her live, though. But I, I don't really listen to her like that, like that. But I leave her alone. I leave her the F alone. Leave her the F alone. I mean, is it that hard? So, this is all coming up to me again because it kind of went viral. Was it this spring? Was it all the way a year ago? I remember it being springtime. I don't know. Time is a concept and 2020 has wrecked that concept. So I don't know when this started going viral, but like people were comparing Billy and the girlfriend, Phineas's girlfriend. Also, I know it was in 2019. I do know it was a year ago. People were already like overanalyzing, like she would be singing and he would be playing guitar and looking at her and people would be like, like, why? They were like, ew, why is he looking at her like that? Like, people are, like, analyzing it and being like, oh, he's he's looking at her with love in his eyes. He's in love with his sister. Like, people were really saying this stuff, like, a year ago. I know that they were doing that a year ago with some vid certain video clips and certain performances. So I'm like, this is just a continuation. But it's coming up again right now because, um... Phineas, let me see. Let me pull up the facts and evidence. Phineas put out this tweet where he said, this is so sad. He said, this is so sad. And then this person on TikTok is like, you're literally dating someone that looks like your sister. How dare you criticize Kanye? Guys, let me just say something real fast. You don't have to agree with Phineas's opinion. You don't have to agree that it's sad the way Kanye West is behaving. Um, but I think it, I, first of all, I kind of agree with him, kind of don't. Is it sad? He, was he defending the Grammys? I don't believe that his post was intended to be like, it's sad because you don't value having a Grammy. I think his post was like, it's sad because he's acting and acting out in very extreme behaviors and it's just so inappropriate and so over the top and it's unnecessary. It's sad because you are just being unstable in public and people are just key keying and laughing along with Kanye West. That's really why it's sad. And I don't think that he was really trying to defend the Grammys that hard. Let me cover, I don't like this couch. It's not my aesthetic. Um, <laughs> but I don't think he was trying that hard. I, I don't know what's exactly like, and I will say right now, even though I seem like I'm defending him, I don't know what's in his heart. Could he be weird? Could he be a weird guy? Yeah, he could be a weird guy. He could be weird for his sister. He could. But, like, why is it our first instinct to go there? That's my, that's a deeper question. Why is it my, our first instinct to overanalyze and criticize? Why is that our first instinct? 
I think that's a good question to ask ourselves. Why is that what we're jumping to first? Especially it's like when it comes to Kanye, we all know everyone has different opinions. So don't try to put it down to, oh, he's he's defending a racist award show and he's banging someone who looks like his sister. Like you're just trying to invalidate his opinion. Instead of counteracting, like not counteracting, but instead of countering his opinion with your own opinion, you just want to invalidate him altogether. Just, I'm just going to invalidate your whole existence because I don't like your opinion on Kanye West. It's like, is that necessary? One, number one, is it necessary? And number two, does it make sense? Like, let's, let's, <laughs> and then I was in the comment section under this saying basically what I just said. I said, you don't have to agree with the Grammys or Phineas, but that doesn't mean you should accuse him of incest. What the F? <laughs> this person replies back to me. His girlfriend looks exactly like his sister. Um, It's weird as F. And I'm like, I get that. But saying, pause and read it. I get that. But saying the resemblance is weird is one thing. You can say that. You can say that that's weird. But you won't, people won't leave it at that. People won't leave it at that. People won't say like that. That's kind of odd that he's dating someone who looks so much like his sister. That's odd. They won't leave it at that. They'll, they'll go further and be like, he's obsessed. He wants to bang his sister. It's not a coincidence. It's not that they're both young white women, you know, with, you know, light colored eyes and pouty lips. It's not just that. It's that he wants to make love to his little sister. Like, why? Why do we have to take it there? Why do we have to take it there? You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say my sister was Elsa Holsk. You know, the Victoria's Secret models? My sister is Elsa Holsk, or whatever, however you say her name. And then I start dating Candace Wannapol. Don't they look really alike? They're both real thin, blonde hair, blue eyes, small petite features. Don't they look a lot alike? Am I, does that, does that mean I want to make love to my sister or does that mean that the standard of beauty is a white woman and I'm dating a white woman and related to a white woman? Like, make it make sense. Like, people won't use common sense. And then another person replies to the same person who was talking to me and says, Billy looks like Claudia, but Claudia doesn't look like Billy. It's hard to explain. And I'm like, <laughs> what? I said, and so for some reason, even though I'm reading it now and I don't understand what I what that means. I said, I agree. It's highly subjective. <laughs> it's highly subjective and shouldn't be used to totally drag his character because it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. And let's talk about how subjective it is. There are photos. This is the photo in which to me, they are right next to each other and they look the most alike. Let me pull up the facts and the evidence. This is where they look the most alike. I, I can see why you're saying they look alike here. But it's like that camera angle. It's like the camera angle. They don't really look alike. She has a different nose than Billy. She has more prominent cheekbones than Billy. You know, cause she has a softer, rounder face. She has a softer look to her overall. Like, look at this picture. She has a softer look than Billy. Billy has more of a, um, more of a, def more of a flat, facial structure and you can see that like they look really different plus what's her name's eyes are kind of fi far apart what's her name is more tan than billy and i don't know she just has a different head shape face shape and we have to keep in mind that phineas himself is light-haired um well he's kind of a medium-haired redhead but billy where's a blonde picture of her i saw one just a second ago Billy is not naturally a brunette. When you see pictures of her when she's younger, and I saw this picture of her doing a ribbon, the thing, you know, when they hang the ribbon down, it's like ribbon gymnastics, not ribbon. What is it called? I have no idea. But she was like dancing on the pink does it, where you climb up the, the material and you like swing around and dance around. She was doing that and she has light colored hair naturally. She has like sandy colored hair. Almost next to his, but not because hers is more sandy blonde and his is more like sandy, dirty redhead. 
not redheads aren't dirty, but like dirty blonde, dirty redhead. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, look at the picture here. Do they really look alike? Like, look how different her nose shape. Look how different her nose is shaped. It's like straight. And Billy's is like a little, a little out. And keep in mind, she's not naturally a brunette. The girl he's dating is naturally a brunette. It doesn't matter. And that's another thing. It's a, it's subjective. It's highly subjective. I do think that they look somewhat alike. I do. I think they look somewhat alike. Like I said, they're young white women with kind of, you know, small features, light colored eyes, and pouty lips. I mean, you know, like, what is he supposed to do? What is he supposed to do about that? He can't date someone with blue eyes. You know, like, he can't date someone with... Gris. I think her eyes are actually kind of greenish, but... I just think it's a little over the top. I just think it's over the top, and I just don't think it's should be used. I just don't think it should be used to invalidate his character and make it seem like, oh, he's a bad person. Like, because he <laughs> he's with this girl. I just don't. I just don't. I just think it's not fair. I almost, a part of me almost even thinks that Billie Eilish dyes her hair crazy colors now. Like, she has, like, the green streak in her hair almost to, like, differentiate herself from the girlfriend a little bit. I don't know. And I just want to keep in mind as well that Billie Eilish is kind of a normal looking white girl. Is she not? Because there was literally, was there literally not a trend a year ago where girls were just putting on Billie Eilish clothes and just going out dressed like her and like pe pulling it off, pretending like they were Billie Eilish? Remember how many girls pulled that off? So I'm just like, is it really, is Billie, is Billie really so unique looking that nobody looks like her? Come on now. Come on now give me a break. Give me a break. Give Phineas a break. And, and give Billy a break. Get, girl, the girl can't breathe. She can't turn around. She can't touch the ground. Like, she can't live. Like, you know, <laughs> my hair clips are uneven. Don't drag. Leave me alone. Um, but that's it. That's all I wanted to say on that. Just leave that girl alone.